fresh fruit has to be one of my favorite things of summer. And what's not to enjoy? It's so fresh and juicy. And I have to ponder if maybe that's what Sage was thinking when they named their accounting solution peach tree. You know, it's a tree, it grows, it flourishes, it gives you the fruits of your labor. My name's Aaron Olson, and I'm the owner of PC Keys Technology Solutions, a national computer training company. And in my 15 years, I've learned to count on my accounting software in order to tell who I owe money to, who owes me money, and how to plan for the future growth of my business. In this course, Total Trainings Sage Peachtree 2009 Pro, we're going to learn all of the things from start to finish, including how to create a company, how to add things to sell, how to move through the sales process, how to collect and deposit money, even how to work with reports and close the books. So if you're ready to enjoy the fruits of your labors using Peachtree Accounting Software, then come along for the ride. It's going to be a fun and delicious one. Peachtree is an accounting software solution that can assist you in tracking your finances. Well, okay, you probably already knew that. But more importantly, in doing so, Peachtree enables you to remember important financial deadlines, track monies owed by you and to you, as well as analyze your company in order to fully understand your financial health and best plan for the organization's future. So why do we use accounting software? Well, I've given you a few different reasons here, but basically, bookkeeping and accounting have been around for generations. Up until the mid-1990s, many businesses, especially small businesses and sole proprietorships, used paper-based methods for their accounting. Well, if it worked so well for so long, then why are we changing? Well, accounting software enables businesses to execute, manage, track, and report on their transactions in order to conform to standards and enhance their organization's potential. Now, everybody knows that accounting is useless unless it is accurate. So probably the number one thing, the number one reason to use this kind of software is for accuracy. Software assists us in accuracy in many ways, by providing methods for using data without re-entering it each time, as well as safety features prohibiting entering of items not recognized. For example, you can't sell something that you don't have in inventory. Along the same lines, bookkeeping becomes more streamlined when items can be recalled instead of re-entering time and time again. Furthermore, because the program does the math, the likelihood of simple mathematical errors is virtually eliminated. Believe it or not, math errors are the most common errors found in financial and tax reports. When it comes to end of period or end of year processes, the efficiency is sometimes unfathomable because the software can complete these processes literally in seconds or minutes instead of days or weeks. So software streamlines and accelerates the speed at which we can do business while also ensuring accurate data. You'll see that some of these other things kind of get all rolled up into that. For example, if more than one person needs to be working on the books, then we can have enhanced collaboration when more than one person can access the company files at any given time. It's hard to do that with a paper file, but it's not difficult to do with an electronic one. All of these things go into the overall efficiency of the company. For example, if you don't have to repeat data entry, that's probably going to reduce your costs because people are spending less time. Not to mention the fact that we now have security. Instead of having a paper file just sitting in somebody's desk, we actually can have 128-bit encryption that makes this file very safe to keep on a system, as well as copy, backup, and all of the other things related to it. So when you ask yourself, why do I want to move to an accounting software system? I think once you start to think about it, the answers are pretty obvious. What may not be quite as obvious is that Peachtree 2009 comes in several different versions. We have the Pro or Professional, Complete, Premium, and Quantum. Pro allows only one user at a time, while the other versions allow for multiple simultaneous users. Complete and Premium, in fact, allow up to five, and Quantum allows up to a whopping 40, because Quantum is really designed for an enterprise where you have multiple locations, offices, and facilities. The important core functionality of accounts payable, bill payment, purchase orders, writing of checks, accounts receivable, quotes, invoices, and reporting to name a few are available across all of the products. In versions like Premium and Quantum, you do receive a little bit of extra. For example, you get more standard reports than you do in just the Pro version. The main difference found in the Premium and Quantum versions is the ability to do planning, budgeting, and working with things like serialized inventory. Again, for a complete option of what everything offers and which one is best for you, you probably want to go to the website to check out exactly what they offer. Within the premium version of Peachtree 2009, we also have industry versions. These are primarily created for construction, distribution, manufacturing, and nonprofits. As you take a look at this list, you probably can figure out what the differences are. 
For example, if you work in a construction business, you probably work with subcontractors, you have a lot of labor, maybe some retainage, or maybe you have progressive billing where somebody pays a deposit and then other parts as you go throughout the project with a final payment at the very end. These things, of course, are specific to construction and they can be found in the specialized version. Likewise, if you're in distribution, then you're probably making kits or assemblies of things, and maybe you're purchasing and reselling in different quantities. For example, you buy something in a pallet, but you sell it as an individual item. So as you can see, this can have some additional functionality that aren't included in the regular versions because most people won't use them, for example, in an office-based system. But for your industry, they're important and they're found in these industry versions. While we're getting oriented to some of the factors related to choosing and using Peachtree software, I want to take a moment to talk about what I call technicalities. Now, I'm not sure that everybody will be interested in this, and I'm also not sure that this is exactly the right place to put it, but since we're talking about choosing software versions, it kind of seemed like a good place to go. I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about some of the things that you may want to know before you make the purchase of Peachtree or if you're having issues. First of all, Peachtree's database is called the Pervasive Database, and it works in the background to store and manage your data. The problem is that Pervasive can actually be mistaken for a virus. So if you have things like firewalls and those types of pieces of software in place, it might try to block it and you run into some issues. If it's mistaken for one of those threats, you should have your IT, or you if you know how to do so, make some firewall adjustments and go ahead and make sure that Pervasive can be accessed by Peachtree without bringing up these threats all of the time. It usually isn't too big of a deal. For example, on Vista, it will simply ask you, do you want to allow it? And you can say yes. So don't panic if you see that. Now you know what Pervasive actually is. Next is that Peachtree 2009 is compatible with Windows operating systems, including Windows Vista, and that's always a good thing. So I wanted to mention that Peachtree 2009 will not provide support for users on the Windows 7 platform. Now that does not mean that it's not going to be compatible. What it means is, at the moment, the makers of Peachtree are saying that they're not necessarily going to support those issues on Windows 7. By the time you view this course, they may have changed that. So of course, go to your technical support site or talk to your IT people if you're having some issues and you're on a Windows 7 platform. 